Harley came out with one of the most innovative bikes this year, the new CVOs. But I would never buy one. And I'm gonna tell you why, and it's not what you think. It ain't the price. So hang out and let's talk about the CVO and why I'd never buy one. Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Tara, your host here, and thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you that have joined the nation, thank you so much. You have no idea what it means. And if you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. This year, Harley came out with one of the most innovative bikes they've had in decades. Yeah, we had the live wire, but that's a little different. But the new CVOs, wow. Some of the things they came out with were fantastic and innovative and things that we've been looking for as riders. But there's a big reason I would never buy one. And I'll explain, and yeah, it, like I said in the intro, it's not the price. You can finance anything as long as you want to pay for it. That's not why I wouldn't purchase it. But let me talk first about the things I really like about the bike. Okay, the fairings are pretty darn cool. They have really went through and re-looked at the fairings and looked at wind resistance and how they could improve things. They integrated the windshield so that it's adjustable now. And also you've got the LED lighting that's really a massive improvement to where you've even got the integrated amber turn signals into the fairing, hopefully to make you more visible for other folks that are on the highways. So this has been a massive improvement. Just the lighting alone, I really like. It's something that riders have been asking for in a long time is to get better lighting, get that LED lighting as a regular feature on the bikes. I really like this part. The motor, it's a 121. What don't you like about this motor? The option from going from the 117 up to the 121, wow, what a move. I'm really glad they did this. Something I really do like is that upgrade in the motor. The weight, this was another mass improvement in my book. They dropped the weight down to 838 for just the street glide and my standard Street Glide Special runs 850 pounds, so this is a good improvement to make these bikes lighter. The brakes going to Brembo. What a great improvement that's needed to be done in a long time. Brembo has a fantastic reputation in the vehicle industry from automotive to motorcycle. What a great improvement. Glad they did this. One of the things I do like. The suspension, for those of us that have always go out and buy aftermarket suspension, yep, it was about time to do improve that suspension that's been offered in the CVOs. Another thing that I'm glad they did, and it's been a long time coming. Things that riders have always been asking for. Ride modes can take them or leave them. I'm not really a fan of ride modes. I'm a fan of riding. Ask yourself how many times have you had a vehicle of any sort with a ride mode in it that changes up and how often did you find one you liked and just kept it there? Eh, I could do without this. Not a deal breaker, but not a deal maker for me. So I'm sure you're asking yourself with all the things I seem to like about the bike, what could be the deal killer? If it's not the price, which I think is a little bit on the high side, and we can talk about that for hours, depending on what paint you get, who wants to pay an extra $6,000 for different paint? But that's another story. But what could be that deal killer that would kick, keep me from wanting to ever buy a CVO? Well, guess what? Well, here it comes. It's the infotainment system. And you're probably going, what? Here's why the, that's a deal killer for me. Everything that you need to know about monitoring your bike is stuck in the infotainment system. 
you don't have any manual gauges to make sure that your bike is okay. Well, for some people, they go, eh, not a big deal. Except when your screen goes dead and you have no idea what's happening with your bike. The also, the other thing is, I happen to work for an international, very large IT company, and let's just say I work security. So I know the life cycle of any of these electronic type features. It doesn't last as long as the bike does. And what do you do once those are out of date and can't be upgraded? You're kind of stuck with a gigantic paperweight and you're going to have to figure out how you're going to maintain things. I've had features on cars go dead and you can't do a darn thing about it because, oh, by the way, they aren't doing any upgrades. You've got to remember this infotainment system is not a Harley product. It's by another third party vendor. They're the ones that maintain it. They're the ones that do the upgrades. I guess it's just my own personal experience, my business experience from my other job that happens to pay for my Harley that comes into play here. I've had my screen go dead on my other bike. And it's no fun when you don't know what RPMs you're doing, what your speed is doing, and if your bike is just acting goofy. If your screen's all wonky, you're pretty well mm, up a creek, let's just put it that way. So that's the biggest reason I would never get these new CVOs. I want my dash and I want some gauges to monitor what the heck is going on. I guess I'm a purist when it comes to that. Yes, I like my GPS, I like all my other features, but I don't want my screen to be completely by a computer. I know, maybe that's old fashioned, but that's just how I feel. That, if that's what you like, go for it. But that's why I would not never buy one of these is I don't want to have my bike outdated just because of the computer system. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting, let you think about a few things, and I really appreciate you stopping by. Remember, if you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. Ride safe, and I hope to catch you on the highways.